hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're returning if you're new here hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up afterwards and now let's get into the video okay so i have three chicken breasts here and they are too thick for me so i'm they're gonna i'm gonna turn them into six chicken breasts i don't know if i'm gonna use it all but um i'm gonna split them in half because it's too thick, I'm gonna split them in half and thin them out a little bit. Make sure you pat your meat dry before you get started. You see, I got a paper towel up underneath the chicken. See how thick this is? Yeah, just take the time to cut it in half. Or some people just pound it out this thick, but it's too thick for it. I mean, some people even cook it like this, and it, it I, I really hate that because it tastes dry. It cooks uneven. In order for it to cook evenly, it needs to pretty much be the um, same size. So now that we got the chicken breast all cut, get some saran wrap. We're going to add a little oil because we, we're about to pound these babies. And the oil is going to help not to actually tear the chicken. If you don't have one of these... I don't know, mallets, meat hammers, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You can get anything to pound the chicken out. A rolling pin, a Pepsi bottle, you do it with your fist. See, I got it pretty much all even. It's like the same size now, so now it'll cook evenly. Let's move along. Get a couple of eggs. You're going to need some eggs, some flour, and um, some kind of breadcrumbs for this process. I would suggest you season everything. Everything that's going to be in your mouth, season it. Season the eggs, season the breadcrumbs, season the meat, season the flour. For everything to be perfectly seasoned. You got to season it all. I already have my flour pre-seasoned, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's just get this chicken seasoned pretty good. So you want to coat your chicken with the flour. You want to dust off the excess flour and dip it into the 
egg bath. Make sure it's every piece of every part of the um chicken gets um some of the egg on it so that the um bread crumbs can stick. Let some of that egg drip off. And when you put the, put it in the breadcrumbs, you want to like kind of pat the crumbs in, like, you know, pat it in the meat so that you know that it's going to stick to it. And let, let it sit for a little bit so that it can adhere to the um, meat. Don't put it in the pan right away. You guys didn't see me let the chicken sit up for a little bit while I got my oil ready and got it all hot. I think I can fit one more in here. Now you know these are not going to take that long. You got to monitor them. Remember we patted them out real thin. So it's not going to take that long. You just want to get them nice and golden brown. I was going to stick those in. I mean, put that fork in there, but I don't want all the good juice to come out. So, And if you're able to, make sure you got a, a wire rack on the side so that the, the meat can stay crunchy. If not, just put it on a lined plate with some paper towel or something. That'll be fine. If you're adding your chicken into the pan and one is almost done, make sure you're checking on the, the, um, the temperature. Look how golden brown these are. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the applause. I was not expecting it. Yes, I'm quite excited myself. I can't wait to dig in. But let's, let's, uh, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's just move right along to the sauce, shall we? Yes, I know we all love garlic, but calm down. Calm down, fellas. Calm down. Now you want to get you some heavy whipping cream. I'm using half and half. Use whatever you like. Um... It depends, you know, how much you use is depending on how much sauce you like. I like my noodles, you know, to be covered and drenched in sauce. I don't like no dry pasta. So I'm just going to um, play it by ear. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. Depending on how reduced down this get, I might add some more in or I might be good. Depending on how many noodles I got. I only fix like a, just a little bit more than half of the package of uh, noodles. So we got our garlic, we got olive oil, we got our butter, then we got the. So I'm gonna just put this on standby just in case I need a little extra um, cream. So now you just want to season it, season it to your liking. Me, I'm going to add a little salt, a little pepper, and a little bit of chicken bouillon seasoning. And that's it for my seasoning. But add whatever flavors you like to add to your pasta dish. You want to keep boiling this. You want to boil this until it gets um, a little thick. It's not going to get completely thick until you add the cheese. But you see how that's running off the spoon? It's running off too fast. It's too thin right now. So we're just going to let it reduce. Meanwhile, we're going to go over here and check on our pasta. Just smush that down in there. So it can get going. Make sure you, your pasta water is seasoned all, also. 
You see the sauce is getting a little bit more thicker. See, it's taking a little bit more, a little bit more time. It's it's running off the spoon a little bit more slower. It's not quite ready yet. So this bag of che uh, Parmesan cheese is like a cup and a half. We're gonna add half of that and see how that that turns out. If I want more, I'll add more. If not, I won't. And once you take your noodles out, you want to reserve a little bit of your pasta water. Just in case you need to thin that sauce out. And you do not want to walk away from your sauce. Because you know cream, milk, all that stuff, it burns quickly. So you want to keep moving it. You see how thick it's getting on the spoon? Just about ready. And also, it will thicken up the longer it sits so like I said have you some pasta water on the side if you don't want to add um, pasta water you can add some more cream if you like that's that's creamy enough for me this is creamy enough for me so if I if I need to thin it out at all once I add my noodles I can just use the pasta water god it smells so good in here y'all So I added my noodles. Looking good. Just gonna add a little bit of my pasta water just to loosen it up just a little bit. So it could be a little bit more creamier. And hey, we just about done. All I gotta do is plate up now and eat. And look at that. Yes. Okay, you can give me some applause now. Well, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. You are too kind. Y'all make sure y'all come back and visit me now, you hear? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I would like to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.